on the News Channel 5 Network. This is Open Line. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to News Channel 5 Plus. I'm Casey Mason. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for another Open Line where we are asking the expert. So tonight's topic is one that I truly believe we will all face or at least relate to at some point in our life. We're talking about assisted living. And tonight we are so lucky to be joined by Rebecca Roberts. Rebecca, good evening. Hi. We're happy to have you here on this rainy evening. So thanks for making it in. <laughs> Thank you for having me. We're happy to have you. Now, you were with Creekside at Three Rivers. Now, yes. that's in Murfreesboro, is that right? Yes, right. Wonderful. Well, we are going to be talking about a lot tonight. As always, I like to start off our show by reminding you that we want to hear from you. That's what the show is. You're supposed to ask the expert tonight. Um, any questions you may have, stories you want to share, or comments you may just want to say with us here on air, we are happy to hear from you. I'm going to go ahead and give you that number. Uh, that is 615 737 Plus again, six one five seven three seven seven five seven five eight seven. So we want to hear from you tonight, and Rebecca, we have a lot to talk about. So again, tonight's topic: assisted living. So first of all, mm -hmm. I want to roll out tonight's show. I think it's important to kind of let folks know a little bit about you. Um, well, I'm originally from Alabama. Um, I've been here uh, probably four years, going on four years. Um, I've been actually with Creekside for about six weeks, so I'm kind of new to the building. Um, awesome place, awesome people. They welcome me right in. We're just a big family. You know, it's interesting that you have only been there six weeks, so it's mm -hmm. one of those things, uh, you know, I think um, we'll we'll get into a little of the background of Creekside, but, you know, I can tell as we were talking before the show tonight that, you know, there's a lot on this topic that folks mm -hmm. want to know about, and we'll get to hear from you tonight. Um, okay. Tell me a little bit about your history. What led you to get into the assisted living industry? Well, I've always wanted to be a nurse. Um, there's some kids, you know, one day they want to be a teacher, one day they want to be <laughs> something else. I was never like that. I've always wanted to be a nurse. Um, I just didn't know what what kind or where you know where it was going to lead me. Um, so I started off um, in a locked Alzheimer's dementia unit um, for right out of school, wow. and I've always been in skilled nursing of some kind. So this is kind of uh, my I don't want to say break, but my chance to go into the assisted living, um, into the memory care part of of the whole. Uh, Geriatric. Mm -hmm. I mean, I find that interesting. Your very first, you know, experience, you were thrown right into, mm -hmm. you know, a very challenging department of elder care. Mm -hmm. Tell me about, you know, your experience with that division of with the Alzheimer's and dementia unit. Um, it's very eye-opening. It's mm -hmm. very, it's very rewarding. It's very, um, um, it, they just, you know, they, they love to be loved. They're just, you know, they just... They're there, they just can't, you know, some can't express it, some can't, um, um, don't know how to express it, but you know that person is there and it's it's just a whole different, if a different type of, type of people. Yes, definitely. You know, it's um, something that I feel like as much as we know about it, there's still more that we can continue to learn along the way. It is a, it is a devastating disease, and yes. you know it's one of those things too. I'm happy that we have places like Creekside that can really, uh, you know, not only provide just that means of feeling the comfort and the care that your loved one needs, but also right. the expertise. I think that's one thing family members want to mm -hmm. know that their loved one is not only in good hands, but in you know experts' hands. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about some of the benefits of having. 24-hour nurses and kind of how they assist the senior living residents. I think that's kind of a great way to start our show tonight. That is that is the question. Mm -hmm. What does that do? Why is that important? Um, oh, and with AL or assisted living and memory care, um, if no matter what happens, you know, if somebody gets sick during the night or, you know, or you know, something happens unforeseen or, you know, just just anything, anything can happen, um, you know, there's a nurse immediately, you know, there's immediate care, you know, there's immediate um, um, things hopefully that we could we could prevent instead of having to wait for for care. Um, so we would we would be there hopefully to bypass a lot of things that 
we yeah, can prevent. Of course. Mm -hmm. And you know, again, we're here tonight. If you're just tuning in, this is Open Line, News Channel 5 Plus, where we are asking the expert tonight, Rebecca, joining us here from Creekside, uh, Creekside at Three Rivers in Murfreesboro. We're going to learn a little bit about Creekside tonight. Uh, some of the really unique things that they offer. I was exploring the website, you know, uh, in preparation for you being here tonight and just uh, it, they offer a lot. I can't wait to learn more about Creekside. And of course, again, just a friendly reminder. We want to hear from you tonight. This is something that, you know, you can call in. This is free advice or, you know, just any sort of even sharing stories. I think, I mean, we all can relate to this. It's, it's interesting. I do want to share this. Uh, not too long ago, I actually was watching a documentary about assisted living and uh, specifically Alzheimer's. And, you know, I, I think a lot of folks, we all think, I think at one point, know someone who's either been affected by this personally in our lives or someone we know mm -hmm. has a loved one that's been affected by this. And now, ask, now correct me if I'm wrong here, but in that documentary I was watching the, uh, the woman speaking, she was telling her audience, she said, I want you to turn to the person next to you and look at each other. One of you will experience Alzheimer's or you will be the caregiver mm -hmm. and I thought that was a really kind of a you know overwhelming statistic mm -hmm. and it ha you know just what's your opinion on that um, unfortunately it is I mean it's uh, either you will be faced with it personally um, or like you said like a family member or you know somebody that's going through this or they have a family member um, and it's, and it's, it's very disheartening very sad yes of course and, you know it's something too that while we're talking here tonight we're gonna kind of teach folks how we can prepare for these things mm -hmm. you know there are mm -hmm. a lot of wonderful places like Creekside uh, advancements in the medical community as well uh, definitely a lot to talk about tonight so let's kind of switch gears a little here let's talk about Creekside at Three okay. Rivers this sounds like an incredible campus I'll mm -hmm. call it a campus okay. tell me a little bit about we've got the senior living aspect of it as well as you all do specialize in the memory support. Kind of break do. down the facility for um, me. We do. Um, we have our assisted living, which is three floors. That is, um, like like I said, assisted living. Um, they range from, you know, they, they live there. Um, they are totally independent. Uh, we totally support that. Uh, we're just there if they need us. Um, to... Um, which we do when people move in and they do need hospice we choose to let them be there to the end of life um, that doesn't mean they have their cog their other cognancy is not there you know they could be totally cognizant but you know we want them to be there to the end of the end, you know to the end of their life mm -hmm. um, so there's a big gap there. There's a wide range of care. Yeah, two very that. different divisions here. Right. It's the same. It's the same part, mm -hmm. but it's totally is one spectrum to the other. Um, and then we have uh, in the same building we have what we call reflections. That is our locked memory care. Um, and then we have three houses um, on behind the campus. That's what we call our villas. Um, they're kind of set up like a group home. They have they're totally self-sufficient houses. They don't have to go out of the houses for you know for anything. They are they too are also locked memory care. Um, it's about three thousand square feet in each house, and each house holds twelve residents. Um, and they do crafts, they do, I mean, they do so much, so many things. Um, our ALs, um, they go and they do, they, um, they've they toured Nissan, they have, I mean, they have done so many things. We have an awesome, awesome activities director and, you know, she's always got them going, she's always got them doing things and it's, it's they're they're just awesome. Yeah, I can tell you really, you know, yeah. take pride in, you know, yeah. what you all do there. I, I also want to mention you do have an adult day program. Tell yes. me about that. Um, we have an adult day program, like you said. Um, they come and they dropped or they sign their their parents in or whoever, you know, comes and um, and then they go to work or they, you know, they do what they have to do. Um, and then they come back in the afternoon and pick them up. And they're just, they're just like one of us. They, we fit them right in. You know, they're just part of the family. All right. Part of the family. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, we are going to go ahead and take a quick break. Stay with us tonight here on Open Line. Again, we're talking about assisted living this evening. We want to hear from you and we will be right back here on The Plus.